Greetings Grace Bible Church, this is May 16th and this is your video blog for this Thursday. Today this is part three of our running series on what is biblical counseling. And today's topic is uh, specifically going to be related to is counseling or biblical counseling related just to professionals. And I want to <clears throat> debunk this idea that only those who are specialized in biblical counseling can really do biblical counseling. Well, this is contrary to what the New Testament teaches. The New Testament teaches that every Christian, every believer who is growing in the Lord and is filled with the Spirit and who has a copy of God's Word, and I would say this too, who understands God's Word, is able to do what I am suggesting is biblical counseling. Now, I'm going to add one uh, footnote to that statement is this. Yes, there are certain cases where there is a need for some, I would say, specialized training in helping some people with certain sins because the root of those sins and the breadth of those sins sometimes are hard to navigate, especially if we don't have the experience to do that. So I'm going to add that caveat to my earlier statement is this only reserved for the professionals? But really, the New Testament says this is not reserved for professionals like, you know, LPC, licensed practice counselors, or psychologists, or a psychiatrist, or a trained biblical counselor. All Christians in the New Testament are commanded to do what I am suggesting is counseling. And I'm going to read one verse to you, and it's in Romans chapter 15, verse 14. And he said, Paul says this. He says, And concerning you, my brethren, I myself also am convinced that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, and able to admonish one another. Now, that Greek word for admonish there has the idea of counseling. It has the idea of correcting bad behavior and bringing it in line with godly behavior. So today, I just want to encourage you, if you're a Christian today, if you are a New Testament believer filled with the Spirit of God, who has an understanding of God's Word, we are called to counsel one another. We're called to admonish one another. We're called to, hey, here's a good word, disciple one another. Think about that. Really, counseling, whenever I sit across from a person who's, who's sought out my help or sought out counseling for me, I always want to help them understand that this is a biblical relationship that we're carrying on here. This is not some segregated relationship outside the, the, the bounds of normal Christianity where like you're some crazy person or have some debilitating sin that you can't, uh, that it's unlike any other experience that any other Christian has had. No, this is a normal relationship to have where one Christian and another Christian get together and one of those Christians is hurting. They are struggling with sin, and that other Christian can help that struggling Christian come out of that sin. And a lot of times, this can be done simply by listening, simply by encouraging, simply by pointing them to passages like 1 Corinthians 10, 13, and helping them see that they're not alone in their struggle, and that God is faithful, and that God will not allow us to be tempted in ways that he doesn't provide a way for us to escape. So there are always there's hope that can be given. Even if you don't feel adequate or trained, you can always give hope in Christ. And sometimes this is what most people really need. So Grace Bible Church, here's my encouragement for you today on this blog is this. Counseling, biblical counseling, is not just reserved for professionals. It's reserved for every Christian believer. We can counsel one another. This is what the New Testament teaches. I want to remind you of two ministry opportunities coming up this uh, this month and next month. May the 19th, which is this Sunday, Sunday night, or, or early Sunday evening, we're having our sum, our second summer uh, time fellowship, and it's at Tammy and I's house here at our home, and we're going to start at 5 o'clock, and we're going to go to 8 o'clock, and it is uh, taco-themed, so bring some chips and dip and taco meat and whatever you enjoy the second thing I want to remind you of is our membership class that's coming up in June. Now, we've finagled some dates. So some of you who want to join or want to learn more about Grace Bible Church, you have time to do that. We're going to do this on a Sunday right after church. June the 9th is the date, I believe. I might have that mixed up with June the 6th. But anyway, it's going to be in June. 
and those dates will be in the bulletin. All right, have a great day. This is your video blog for Thursday, May 16th.